Hello everyone. Welcome back to Odoo 14 development videos. We discussed about tree views and its different attributes, decorations and uh, editable, those kind of uh, different attributes in last video. In this video, we are going to discuss about the calendar view. So you know why the importance of the calendar view. It's a very a useful view that we can uh, we can present the records in a calendar format as a calendar events. So it is easy to schedule your uh, to view your activities and to do things and everything in a calendar view. So how we can add a calendar view to our, our module or to our uh, business object that's what we are looking in this video so here in our open academy module we are going to add a calendar view for our sessions so to show some record in a calendar you know what we need we need a, a date right to so uh, to show something in a calendar to mark something in a calendar we need a date so just like that we need a date and if you want to mark more than one day we need a end date also so these things uh, how we can define in an, an object in a calendar uh, for an object a calendar view for an object that's what we are uh, going to see in our open academy module we are going to add calendar view for our session object since we already have a start date for that uh, business object and we have a duration so what we did is we added a end date for field newly to that business object. Now this end date is a compute field. So this get end date function will supply the end date for this uh, object. And uh, this inverse function will set whenever we make uh, changes into this end date, it will set the other duration and other uh, start date related things uh, to upper, um, into a proper uh, date, into a proper value. So this is our field that will hold the value of the end date and this is our start date and this is the duration that we already have. Now what we need is we need these two functions that I have already added here. Here you can see this we are using the depends decorator a start based on uh, depends on the start date and duration uh, it will compute the get uh, the end date and it will supply the end date the uh, records end date field so when when we have the start date and duration uh, it will be start date plus duration so to get this duration here we uh, you can see the time delta we are using the time delta to use the time delta, first we have to import that into our uh, models.py file. That's why we added this line here. So from date time, import time delta. That's why we can use the time delta here. Otherwise, it will throw an error. Then the inverse function that we set here. So if we don't have the start date and end date, then no problem. If we have the start date and end date, and then it will try to reset the duration. So it will, uh, system will try to remove, uh, minus the end, uh, start date from end date and then time delta adding, then it will be set to duration. So this the thing, these are the things that we made uh, these are the changes that we made to accommodate a current review in our Open Academy session object. So 
why uh sorry what what we have to do now is we have to bring that into the, our user interface so in uh, to bring that to our user interface we have to define a view that is here you can see now this is our calendar view so just like a tree view it's an another record another record under the model ir ui view and uh, we have to supply a unique id so here session calendar view just like session tree view we put in the session calendar view and the name is session calendar just like the session tree and the model is same open academy session and the architecture and here instead of the tree view uh, for the tree view we use the tree tag for the calendar view we use the calendar tag and then uh, here we are at uh, our different attribute that we can use with the calendar view first we given the string so session calendar no problem then this is the start date so uh, this is the attribute and this is the value so in your uh, business object it may be uh, first date or something like that anything that hold the starting date of uh, that event you can put here and here we have the date stop here just like the start date the ending date whatever the name of that field will be in your case you can put that here and there is another thing that is called color here so here we i put the instructor id so what is instructor id instructor id is this color attribute holds the name of the field that we use to that we want to use for color segmentation so if you want to uh, have the activities in different color based on the person who is assigned then you can uh, based on the employee who is assigned you can put the employee id in our case we have the instructor so we want our uh, open academy sessions in different colors based on the instructor that's why we put the uh, color attributes value as instructor id so this field uh, holds the instructor details and there are many other uh, attribute uh, we will go to that uh, first we can see what are the changes uh, this will bring to our user interface before going to that we have to add the view mode in our action so this is our action the sessions uh, action uh, it was tree and form before this uh, before we add this calendar view now we have the calendar added in the view mode now uh, let's restart the uh, project then let's go to the apps then yeah okay under the right okay then update now under the open academy sessions yeah so we have total three sessions these sessions we uh, you can see this uh, calendar view uh, calendar icon is came here we can click on that now you can see our three all three sessions are there and it's in a weekly mode uh, our calendar right now we can switch that into the monthly mode then you can see uh, the session starts from 23rd and ends on three and the session two starts from 23rd uh, and ends on ends on uh, march 4th then session starts on 24 and ends on uh, 26 okay sorry yeah uh, it's uh, ends on uh, session two ends on 25th 
So this is, uh, and you can see the session two and session three have the same color and session one have a different color. It's because the instructors of these two, you by you can see at custom two instructor, you see only the session one have the Azure interior, all other two sessions are decorated. That's why uh, these two have different color than the session one. So this is how these three uh, attributes are working, the start date, end date, and color. Now we have more attributes that we can use with the calendar view. So I can show you an example. This is a calendar view of our HR leave that is used in the dashboard. So here you can see JS class is uh, used for uh, some additional styling in the dashboard and in that view. Uh, now here in this example, we have the string that we already covered. And this is the new thing that we haven't covered there. So form view ID. So what is form view ID is doing? So when you try to edit a calendar event from the calendar view, this form view will be opened. If you didn't mention anything special here, uh, using this form view ID, it will open the uh, form view that is mentioned on the uh, the normal action that we have defined for that model. And then the event open pop-up attribute, event open pop-up attribute is set to true then uh, the calendar will calendar view will open events in a form view dialog box. Otherwise, it will open events on a new form view. Okay. So that's a current event open pop-up. It's a, uh, it will open as a pop-up. Otherwise, it will open in a, a normal form view. Then date start, you can know, you know that. Now we have just mentioned that, then date stop. And uh, one thing that, uh, we uh, we don't have here is date delay. So date delay is an alternative option that we can use. Instead of this date stop, we can just put the duration there. Okay, so we when we have the date start and a duration, you can just uh, give the date start as the date date from and the duration as the date delay. So uh, this is uh, a new uh, another attribute that we can use the date delay and uh, the mode. So when we open up uh, open the session calendar view, it was a weekly mode. So if you want to set your calendar view uh, by default, when you open the calendar view. Uh, to be in monthly monthly mode by default, you can set mode is equal to month. If you want that to be weekly mode, you can set a week. If you want that to be a day wise, I like this. In this mode, then you can set it as day. If you want that to be yearly, then you can set like uh, set here. You can provide year. Then uh, QCAD option is uh, set as false. So QCAD will only ask for name. If you have uh, many other fields on that event, and uh, when you click, uh, when the QCAD is true, it will only ask for date, sorry, the name of that, uh, name for that record. So this option is set as false here and uh, initial delays, color is given, hide the time, hide time, everything is all day. Then uh, another thing is scales. Scales have the value 
scale in the scales you can give a different list like uh, sorry uh, comma separated details uh, it have the same values of the modes day week month and year so if you want to if you don't want uh, your current review uh, the year mode then you can uh, set scales is equal to day week month let's try let's go to our open academy sorry uh, to the apps then update everything works fine sessions yeah it didn't work oh we sit on hr okay so we put that on wrong place let's put in our open academy so we can also add the mode we can sit by default it was the session it was on week so I want that to change into the months. Oh, let's try month. And then let's go to the apps. Open Academy, Systems, Calendar. Now you see the by default it's on month and you don't have the year button right now. So this is uh, what the scales and the modes do. And uh, uh, there are other attributes like all day and uh, date delay that we mentioned and different attributes are there. So you can, you can check the Odoo's different reference document about the views uh, to get more information about all these things. And if you have any doubts regarding these things, you can uh, put your queries under the comment section. We will try our best to answer your queries and uh, clarify your doubts and everything. So, uh, or you can send an email to odoo at cybrosis.com uh, by mentioning your queries. Uh, we will try uh, answering your queries. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet you will get a notification about all the upcoming videos and everything thanks for watching once again